Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to yet another Trek Collector so soon after the last one Yeah, well, that's the way it goes sometimes DPD were quick enough to drop this one on my doorstep today and man I have to say one thing after the XL Reliant, which I am such a big fan of I have this now This brings me back to my early child. Well not Early childhood memories, but Young teens' memories of this famous ship that Rick Steinbeck uh, designed and his concept artwork. And this is uh, fairly, fairly cool. I actually had a poster of this ship up in my bedroom before Voyager even launched. Um, I actually really, really like this design, but without me waffling on too much, okay? So this is the Starship official Starship collection, USS Voyager, Stier Sternbach concept issue special issue and uh, trepid class concept 1994 designed by rick Stern sternbach and um, this is absolutely uh, a fantastic magazine this is probably one of the best magazines that you're going to get before we look at the ship we'll go to the magazine and um, this is a lot to do now eagle moss have said over the years the biggest problem and the, the biggest issues that they have with some of the ships is that they don't have the cgi so we have fabio pascardo to thank for his work with rick so basically Eagle Moss went and sent Fabio to Rick and got uh, the two boys to work together and Fabio did this in CGI and that's how the model was made so uh, and again as well a big shout out to Rick himself Rick the man and um, he actually really loves um, working with companies when it comes to his work and making models of starships and he did this similarly with the Bandai 1850 model. Um, he worked very closely with Bandai and brought us this absolutely fantastic model of, of Bandai. And Rick supplied them with all the information and really helped them out. So this is so evident in this model from Eagle Moss when we get into the actual model itself. So great work by Fabio and Rick. Um, this is an interesting design. It, it screams Excelsior to me in some parts. The long nacelles, we can see certain elements that that does look very Excelsior. And it's very funny as well that two different art departments come up with similar stylings because we have, this is the way Voyager went, and later on that's how the E went as well. And John also said that he never actually realized that Rick was kind of going off in this kind of dimension with the, the primary hull. So coincidence, it's just funny how some artists think, but there is lots of new information on this ship in here. Um, how Eagle Moss went about working with jo uh, Rick to uh, bring us this ship and a lot of design and the top process and why the model was refused and a little bit about the studio model that Rick actually made up before uh, it, they decided not to go with the model. Um, this is a photograph. I, this is the one that I had up on my wall as a, a young teen. Um, really loves this concept artwork back in the day so it's, it's actually great to actually see that design again but this i have to say for any of us here there's a lot of new material in this magazine and um, interesting enough as well this lip was actually part of the initial redesign and john or rick sorry dropped it out for when he did his uh model which has been lost it was in the art department so this is the cg render which turned out and Again, with Rick, which I really, really love about Rick and his work is he spends a lot of time detailing out. And Rick is kind of very scientific. Um, he's one of the guys that comes up with, he's going to kill me if he's watching it, the techno babble of Star Trek. Um, that was first part of his job in the series. He's also a fantastic designer. Um, and he is just a legend, uh, I have to say. And this is the model that he made um, that got refused. So this is kind of like, this design was approved. And he made this model out of foam and it got rejected. Um, and his, I think he was told to make it more, look more like a, a rounder kind of Lexus st style feel. So interesting enough with the, the deflector array as well here, the concepts, how it changed. And great, you know, to have this work. He wanted the Voyager door to be like the holodeck door. Um, I, I, I really love Rick's concept artwork. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And, Here's the tree, CD, CGI render of a ship we never got to see. And doesn't it look fantastic? So that's the magazine, guys. And you know what? It's, it's, it's a very good read. Uh, lots of new stuff in here. So 
Five minutes on the magazine, that's a first, but here's the ship. <gasps> look at it now. In fairness, if we do look at Eagle Moss's track record, and we have a couple of things to go on, okay? So if we look at the difference between the Discovery line and some of the Starships, and there's huge things. So and that's down to no CGI files and stuff like that. So this one, they sent their guy out to Rick, and Rick helped our guy, Fabio, fair play, and this is what we get. And this is an absolute piece of beauty. And you know what, just being a young 13 year old, God, that's going back, and really loving this ship. And Rick, thank you so much for uh, working with Eagle Moss and uh, doing this for us. So this is gonna cost you 14.99 in the UK. 19 euro and 99 cents in euro and for the us it's 24 dollars and 95 cents a little bit too you might think but no i think this is absolutely fantastic so let's get in a close uss voyager we have our sensor there as we did our secondary deflector array for the primary hull because remember the primary hull is slightly raised so therefore it needs a deflector array which only a uh, Technico technological genius such as Rick would actually think of where other starships were missing Rick thought of it and uh, we have our lifeboats we have a thrusters in here um nice little markings around the phaser strips detail is really really nice and crisp in this one um our bridge um I, I'm loving all this extra extra part of detail the neck fairly fairly different uh, you know it this is just i love this you know federation of planets everything about the ship is nice and crisp um look at our, our our windows at the back of the ship we have instead of the three or the four that we just we have an extra set there uss voyager and the reg there we go um but let's get her back into focus there she is just beautiful. So, this ship, to me, is, is one of my favourites. As I said, I had a poster of this long before Voyager came out and just hearing the rumours and stuff like that. Well, it wasn't that long before Voyager came out. And just the images of this ship was absolutely fantastic. And now to actually hold it in my hand is just unbelievable. So, Fabio and Rick, big thank you. Um, Rick, you are such a gentleman for us Star Trek fans and... To show your passion and love for a show that you used to work on and always come back and help the likes of Eagle Moss and stuff like that. Any company um, that are looking for information on Voyager or any of those ships that, or work that you've done on Star Trek, you've always been there. You've given them the information and you've been so good. So that's a big personal thank you for myself. Um, just amazing to hold a ship. I think it's beautiful. So I'm just going to pause her here for a second and I'm going to take a few shots of her on her stand. But that is the ship, and overall, absolutely beautiful. Okay, guys, here she is sitting on her stand, and oh my, she is absolutely beautiful. Now, just to point out to you guys, the top part is all metal. Um, up to the point, I'll show you now, basically, some of the secondary hull is metal. So, gone from the neck, and this top part here is all metal, and then... The basically the bottom and underneath the primary hull is plastic let's get close in at these nacelles and you know what it's this is really really beautiful um i think you know if eagle moss can do more of these concept ships and get to work with the actual designers i think they found something really new um some new cool material for us to read um because you know it's very hard for the likes of Eagle Moss and Men Robinson to kind of do stuff on, especially TV series that have been like like TNG, it's 30 years old. So getting new source material is very, very hard. Um, but, you know, I mean, that magazine was very, very refreshing. And it's just such a wonderful... I'm going to try and get in under and we can try and... I'm going to lift her up so you can get some light because we don't want to miss out on that beautiful, beautiful... Um, deflector dish and underneath the saucer as well because she is very very hard to get in on there we go and uh, what a beautiful beautiful well done 
concept ship. I think she's worth the money. What do you guys think? Did you ever see this design before? Um, the studio model that was done for Voyager has mysteriously gone missing. So I hope that somebody is sitting in a house and there's a little model sitting on a shelf gathering dust and they realize, oh, hang on here. That's Rick's model. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let us all know where it is because uh, it'd be sad to hear that like it'd be worst case scenario that it's been ended up dumped i'm sure rick would love to know where that model is but anyway guys that has been my review of the uss voyager sternback concept special edition issue <laughs> i keep doing that guys but anyway folks thanks very much for watching this video and um, if you haven't please subscribe to the channel please hit the bell icon if you liked for, for alerts and give us the old thumbs up. Otherwise than that, guys, uh, from me, take care. Slanga fol, ihawa, and live long and prosper.